the only thing I have to say again uh, for one more time is that my only concern are my children. I care deeply about them and I can't wait to be with them again. His only concern was his children, not uh, his children's mother who had disappeared. No concern at all about her. Like she would just get up and leave. Didn't happen. As Fotis Dulos, um, he's no longer with us because once he was charged with murdering his missing wife, he took his own life. Now, at the time that he was split up from his um, wife, he had a girlfriend and her name was Michelle Traconis. There she is. Well, now Michelle Traconis has been charged and is alleged to have been part of what happened to um, Jennifer Dulos. And her trial is ongoing, and Kelly Kraft, Court TV uh, legal correspondent, is in Connecticut, where we've never had a camera in a criminal trial before, and has the latest from court tonight. Well, hi there, Vinny. A pretty interesting day here in court in Stamford, Connecticut. The state played a surveillance video, some street camera video for the jury today, and that video showed a black pickup truck driving around Hartford, Connecticut. Inside that black pickup truck, photos Dulles as well as the defendant in this case, Michelle Traconis. So the jury was able to see photos Dulles getting in and out of that black pickup truck, throwing out trash. We did hear for the first time today the name Michelle Traconis, of course, who is the defendant in this case. I caught up with defense counsel on the steps of the Superior Courthouse here and asked him about that. Let's listen. Well, we heard Michelle Traconis's name today, finally. Yes, finally. We've never disputed the fact that Michelle was in that vehicle and that she told the police they didn't know for sure until she told them. And she said, yeah, that's um, Fotis Dulos driving. So, um, and, you know, the bottom line is, um, you know, these are things that Fotis Dulos did. He's not here to uh, explain himself. And... I don't think anybody is going to be able to explain what he was up to, but that's where we're at right now. Michelle Traconis is facing conspiracy to commit murder in this case. Her then boyfriend, Photos Dulos, was charged with murdering Jennifer Dulos. Although Jennifer Dulos' body has never been found, Photos Dulos, of course, later on committed suicide, but not before going around Hartford, Connecticut, and throwing out what prosecutors say was evidence of a crime against Jennifer Dulos. He is seen on this surveillance video, these street camera videos, throwing out out various trash bags and also a mat. He's trying to throw a mat into a trash bin, but it wouldn't fit. So then he placed it alongside a Jamaican restaurant. Also, one of the street camera videos showed the defendant in this case, Michelle Traconis, getting out of the passenger side of the vehicle and then appearing to throw something away that defense counsel says was gum. Here is what the witness on the stand said was recovered from that sewer drain. Let's listen see that there was um, an envelope, like a FedEx envelope, that was coming up out of the water with their equipment. And Detective Fitzsimons had gloved hands and he reached in and recovered um, the envelope and put it over by the sidewalk, opened it up, and when he opened it up to pull out the contents, we saw two Connecticut license plates. And when investigators recovered those license plates, they noticed that they were not even registered, they weren't valid license plates, and that they were altered and for instance they had changed someone had allegedly changed one of the numbers into a letter and some other items were altered on the license plate as well also we saw some video of a homeless man who was rummaging through those trash cans and found what appeared to be a pillow and also what we're hearing was possibly a hunting knife that prosecutors have said was used in the crime against jennifer dulos but more on that when this case continues tomorrow, Vinny. That's the latest from Stanford, Connecticut. Kelly Kraft will send it back to you. Another big day. It will continue on Tuesday. Connecticut versus Michelle Traconis. Let's bring back in our think tank, Al Wunsch, Darnell Cross, and Jennifer Brandt. Uh, Darnell obviously chomping at the bit right now, but let's go to Jennifer Brandt first. Jennifer, here's the question. Um, a woman, hypothetical, a woman is driving around with her millionaire, like 
millionaire boyfriend who has a huge home, right? I mean, enormous home in Connecticut. And you're driving around and you're throwing out garbage in different garbage uh, pails around Hartford um, at the time that his estranged wife uh, is suddenly reported missing soon afterwards. Um, is there an innocent explanation for that? Sure, Vinny, there's always an innocent explanation. And I'm sure if Darnell were involved in this case, he would be giving it right now. Um, now, there's always an explanation, but I think the difficulty in this case is that Photos Dulos is deceased. He's gone. And so people are looking, perhaps a juror and jury is look, are looking for someone to blame in this case. Uh, you know, this woman, this mother, she's killed, she's gone, she's obviously dead. Uh, probably at the hands of her husband, and he's gone. So who else is there but the girlfriend who is driving around in the car? So I think that's the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems here. Um, I'm sure she'll be able to come up with an explanation. I think her attorney said she didn't know what he was doing and why he was driving around dumping things. Uh, you know, perhaps he was working in, you know, he, he was a home builder, I believe. So maybe he said he had some materials he had to get rid of. Uh, Could yeah. <laughs> they usually have dumpsters at most construction sites that I've seen. I don't know. Call me crazy. All right, Darnell, here's your opportunity. Let it fly. No, no, no. I'll let you respond, Al. I'll give you the rebuttal. Go ahead. A couple of things you got to remember here. Um, if the prosecution is saying that the suspected uh, items that were put in the trash are evidence, then show the evidence. You can't have a trial where you're trying to convict someone on what you suspect is evidence. You show the evidence. That's the first thing. Second thing is, if you've never seen a dead man on trial before, well, welcome to Connecticut. This is the Photos Dulos trial. This is them trying the case of a dead man. And at the end, they will try to somehow connect it to Michelle. That's what you have here. And, and thirdly, um, when you look at the, 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 the details, the details I have up in front of me on my other computer here, conspiracy to commit murder in Connecticut, the conspiracy charge carries the same amount of time as the underlying charge. So murder here is 60 years. Um, and you normally get a jury of 12 plus four in Connecticut. I was in the courtroom today while all these people were testifying and I've started counting the jurors. There's nine. There was 10 before one got let go with the social media post, so there's nine. So this is not even being treated like a murder case where there's 12 and four. So look at these details and you find this weirdness. It's really the photos dealers trial and, and again, as I said on Court TV last week from, from Antigua, um, America feels they have to hold someone responsible, and here we are holding Michelle responsible for photos dulos. And it's not even playing out properly. Go ahead, Al. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry. You said this case is <laughs> in Connecticut? Connecticut, right? And, and, and Darnell is not involved with the case? It's kind of an odd situation to me. I'm a little perplexed in this. I mean, maybe he, he should stay in this country a little bit more and he would have gotten this case. But the situation he brings up about the jurors, the jurors in this case are completely nuts, okay? There was like two jurors said to the prosecutors, we love you guys. There was another pros There was another uh, juror that was uh, thinking that this was reminds him of the Gone Girl movie. Uh, with Ben Affleck and things along those lines. So the jurors are completely off the rails on this case. And, you know, it is a, it is a bizarre situation. The, the fact that they're going for different garbage cans and dumping stuff off, I agree. Show me what the evidence is. And, you know, then the defense is going to be give a hoot, don't pollute. Yeah. So and, and Darnell, why does she have so many different stories when she spoke to police three different times? It, it, it changed. Well, well that, that's the funny thing about it. She had, um, uh, gosh, I forget his name now, um, but she had another lawyer who, who would, was pressuring her to uh, give these statements and allegedly saying that Photos Dulos is a bad man, he's going to kill you, he's going to kill your family if you don't give these statements. Um, and uh, my understanding was he took her down there many times uh, and said, just just co uh, cooperate. The prosecutor who was no, who's no longer there and who was investigated, Richie Colangelo, and was forced out of the position, um, you know, he had some uh, agendas here, in my opinion. And uh, all of that was cooked up. And, and so, you know, defendants should never be speaking to a police. They don't have proper uh, guidance. And she didn't have it in this case either. Well, innocent so, people can speak to the police. There's nothing no, wrong no. With, with being innocent and speaking to the police. The, the truth shall set you free. 
No, yeah. Central Park Five. The truth didn't set the Central Park Five free after they sit you down in, in a New York jail for 14, 15 hours giving you Skittles. It never sets you free. You never want to sit with these guys. Don't talk to the police and think about not talking to the prosecutors either. How about asking your boyfriend, why are we dropping all this garbage off all, all around Hartford? Aren't you a millionaire? Don't you have people for this? This is a Darnell, real life answer. This is a real life story. <laughs> I, I, I landed here on Thursday. I had court in New Haven on Friday. I'm driving up to New Haven. And you oh, know, here we go. <laughs>